Okay, so we're here in the water game. Can you please show your badge and name? There. Mm -hmm. So tell us who you are and what are you doing here? My name is Kusum Anandaran and I'm here from Sri Lanka. I'm also the chair of the Network of Women Water Professionals Sri Lanka and the steering committee member from the Women for Water Partnership. So as you would guess, a lot of my considerations are about women and water. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to talk about that in a few hours. Yes, I have been in a couple of panels here and they have been trying to project a women's voice, concern for women's issues, mm -hmm. because these concerns are getting exacerbated over and over again because of climate change. Mm -hmm. Climate change is giving us a lot of heartache and a lot of headaches. Mm -hmm. Climate change is giving Sri Lanka flooding, extreme events in, a, in great rapidity, mm -hmm. uh, prolonged droughts, unseasonal rains, which means that we cannot do our planting and our uh, agriculture right. And with all this comes a greater burden on women, because women have to look after families also, yeah. which are flood uh, maroon. Mm -hmm. Women have to look for drinking water during floods. Women have to make sure that the food is on the table when the floods have ha washed away the harvest. Yeah. And how are you dealing with this? Or what projects are you setting up there? Well, projects and activities. I think that there are activities which all of us can do as members of civil society. One is to ensure that there is climate change adaptation at the forefront of decision making. The second is to make sure that we, as a responsible generation, which has been extremely irresponsible in the way we dealt with climate, mm -hmm. will now at least train the younger generation in the principles of intergenerational equity to adapt to climate change. Adaptation to climate change is about water. Mm. Do you think it will be possible for us to fix this mess and, and be able to adapt? To fix the mess is beyond the capacities of small countries like Sri Lanka. We didn't do the mess in the first place. Yeah. We are only paying for the mess. Yeah. But uh, hopefully we'll all be able to get us out of the mess. And, and I and, uh, remain positive that in the end that people would do what is necessary. Mm -hmm. What do you think is necessary? Well, we have to do something about global warming, but before that we have to do something about communities which are already affected by water, either the lack of it or the Excess. overabundance of mm -hmm. it. So I think that adapting for, to climate change is uh, is not something we have to do tomorrow. It's something we should have done yesterday. Yeah, clearly. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you.